Alas, poor York. As a fellow of infinite jest, like of most excellent fancy, he hath bore me on his back a thousand times. Oh, bear me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I bang my face to the mat. Be quiet, now. Please continue, Miss Sims. And now how abhorred in my imagination it is. Like, my gorge, like, rises at it. <laughs> like, I think Phillips is giving a rise, too. Okay. <laughs> Here hung those lips that I've kissed that I, like, know not how off. Like, oh, my God, like, get me with a spoon. Continue. Oh, like, oh, this guy doesn't even, like, have any lips. Like, he's, like, barfing me out. Miss Sims. Like, freaking me out. Suddenly awesome, gruesome. <laughs> Oh, my God, like, here, you continue, okay? No one interrupts Shakespeare. Where be your jibes now? Your gambles, your songs, your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar. What a stool. Come on, it's Friday, let's bowl, okay? Not one now to mock your own grin. Quite chop fallen. <laughs> now, take you to my lady's chamber and tell her, let her paint inch thick. To this favor she must come. Make her laugh at that. Stretching it out, please. Oh, this is yours. 
I thought maybe it was your little brother's T-shirt. Oh, this is great. <laughs> you guys, can you help me? <laughs> okay, wait, pull. Pull. How many times have we been over this? Showbiz, sweetie, is not nine to five tea time. Anyway, I'm not going. Your charity things bore me to Pasadena. Well, you bore me to tears. You bore me to death. How could I bore you to death? You were dead before I married you. You were dead when you were born. Oh, my God, can't you two tighten your faces? You're freaking me and my friends out to the max. Can't you talk normally to your own parents, for God's sake? I am so sure I do talk normal. <laughs> you think your grody TV show is normal? Grody? Now, what the hell is... You listen to me, young lady. Until you learn the English language and rejoin the human race, I don't need to hear your comments about my show. And just what the hell do you think put you in that 450 out there? Really, Halloran, it is an embarrassment. I mean, can't you at least change the title? The Boom Boom Girls? Really? Boom Boom Girls? Freak me out! That title change put us first in the ratings last week. And it puts you in that Jaguar, your plastic surgeon's office, your manicures, pedicures, massages, or whatever the hell it is you do all day long. And just what is it you do all day long? Chase after girls in Boom Boom bikinis? Welcome to the 75% Club. We're in the majority. Huh? Divorce in the Valley, we're in 75%. They're not splitting up. <laughs> hey, it's no biggie. If they do, maybe you'll get something. Yeah, I got a horse. Once I got a trip to Europe. Hey, like once I got a trip to a fat farm. They always feel guilty before they split. If you ask them for what you want, maybe you'll get it. Look, Trish, don't worry about it. Maybe they'll work it out. Food? Nope. Dance? 
No thanks. Screw. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> but not with you. Oh my god. Too bad you don't have the balls to go with it. <laughs> Valley girls. Yeah. I love you. On a scale of one to ten. Eleven. Mm. Eight. Mm. Hey, 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 hold it, hold it. We gotta get back in. No. But I'm pledged chairman. So is being pledged chairman more important than me? Of course not, but you know how I feel. I, I respect you too much for this. Well, then respect me a little less. Trish. I mean it. It's not like I'm a virgin Shh. or something. But you're, you're special. Well, then treat me special. I am. Well, then treat me not so special. I, I just can't. Oh, I can't find you. Hello, Miss Hi. Uh, I heard you're one, one of your races. They're not races, they're horse shows. Shows, yeah. Well, that, that's what I meant. Well, congratulations, honey. Thanks. Beer <laughs> ball baby time! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think our pledge is very thirsty. Yes, sir, I'm thirsty. <laughs> you move and you're dead meat time! <laughs> Wind blew in. Hi, Mike. Lotty da. If it isn't Beverly Hills. Grody to the max. They must have crashed. For sure. Keith knows I can't stand them. <sighs> Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like crashers. Oh, yeah? Well, neither do we. So why don't you leave? Oh, for sure, like we were invited. <laughs> Certainly not by anybody who matters. By my boyfriend, who also happens to be pledged chairman. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize you vows hung out with such dignitaries. I mean... Uh, that's pretty tubular. <laughs> Leslie, don't you think that's tubular? Yeah, Julie, like, freak me out. Barf out, gnarly, grody. Gag me with a spoon. <gasps> I will gag you with a knife if you don't leave. 
Keith, can you take care of this? Keith, huh? you have to ask these Beverly Hill bitches to leave. Um, well... Keith. I can't. Why not? They're with Mike. <laughs> so? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. He'll kill me. <laughs> I'll be kicked out of the frat. I'll be shipped to Siberia. Either they go or we go. Trish, I'm sorry. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Sam. Sounds like a dog. Yeah. Bow wow. Crispy, crispy. Bark me out. <laughs> It's our duty. This girl happens to be the most famous herpes Harriet. Herpes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very funny. Oh my God. Get out of here, you so little... Come on. <laughs> and I wouldn't have come up with anything, and I would have just left you in there. Then I wish you weren't my dear cousin. Look, my mom and I only took you in until your parents patched things up. This isn't permanent. Well, you know, like, I can bolt out of here any time. Keep okay, fine. Fine, hoser. I mean, really, at least she's getting some action. <sighs> Why, is Keith still treating you with respect? Uh... <laughs> What's with you? Oh, they, they made me a member. A member? Of the beer bond club, you know. <laughs> but four times I did it, and I beat everybody but David. You mean that beer bonger? He's the president of the beer bond club. Ooh. The president? Did you hear that, Trish? Oh, yes, a successful young executive. <laughs> hey, hey, David Megan nice. Oh, come mm -hmm. off it, Beth. I mean, they have to be the grotiest of slops ever. I mean, totally disgusting. For sure. Well, like, I like those guys. She's a great reference. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> hey, Val! Val! Ho! 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 <laughs> hey! Hey, the party's in here! Where are you going? Home. Home's no fun. Well, neither are those Beverly Hill bitches, you know? A little competition, huh? Well, let's get one up on them, huh? Let's go out to the lake and have us some fun time, huh? <laughs> and you girls are gonna have such a good time. It's gonna be jumping jack play. Yeah, a little party. Right here, right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's that scuzz think he is? Oh, well, he's president of the beer bar club. You guys, like, let's follow them. You're crazed. Haven't you had enough for one night? Like, what else is there to do tonight? You know.
Hold it right there. You kids are in big trouble. Holy shit! Have you ever seen the Black Lagoon Monster with his big <laughs> head coming down on your face? Oh, God, it's so scary! But I'm just kidding, sir. You know, it sure is great to have guys like you protecting our great Western civilization monuments, like Disneyland or, or, or Magic Mountain or Knott's Berry Farm. Hey, what about that jam? Blackberry's my favorite. What's yours? Strawberry, I guess. I knew it. I knew it. Strawberry. All great men love strawberry. I have so much admiration for you. Here, put the handcuffs on me. I don't have any handcuffs. Hey! Fire, you big boy! Are you ready, ladies? Oh, yeah. Oh, Let yeah. us go. Okay. And a one, and a two, and a three. Snort. Oh, sparkles, Shirley. <coughs> yes, fine snow, fine snow. Shall we try this again? Why Time's not? wasting. What's your hurry? Your friend's already wasted. Yeah, is he all right? <laughs> oh, he's fine. He's just relaxed. Uh, well, then let's get to Let's it. get Come relaxed. On. And a one, and a two, and a three. Snort. Don't parents ever grow up? Where did you get this wonderful stuff? One of my crew, he's got a direct line to Puerto Rico. That is one of my basic requirements of hiring, a good connection. Mm, now that's a good connection. That's a, <laughs> oh, this is not party coke, that is for sure. This is the real stuff. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> well, we are some of the most prominent citizens in this fair valley. I think, therefore, entitled to get decent coke. Well spoken, oh. Counselor. Give this to the judge, and your clients will walk out scot-free. Oh, you mean scotch-free? <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys, like, look at my mother? I mean, she's clinging to him like a gas mask. If her soap opera fans can only see her now. Oh my God, it looks like my dad's making your mom into one of his latest boom boom girls. Well, hey, like, my mom's no better going from one lover to another. I can tell. Mind if we join you? <laughs> Sam, I thought you were at um, Trisha's tonight. No, we're here. This obviously is where the action is. For sure, for sure. Hey, Trisha, you ought to be home. Your mother will be worried to death about you. Oh, like she's worried about you. Oh, Beth, what, what kind of trouble have you been in? You, you, you look terrible. Look at you. Look at you. It's OK, Mrs. Young. We were just having good, clean American fun, like our parents. That's enough smart talk, young lady. Just get to your room. Come on, you guys. Oh. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, what the hell, let's get wasted, huh? We are wasted. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I cannot believe it. They sit around snorting and they act like we're the criminals. You know, it's all part of the image. Well, is sleeping around part of the image? This is the valley, remember? 
I wouldn't worry about your dad and my mom, Trish. I mean, she has got so many men. He's lucky if he lasts out the week. For sure. Like, I've almost gotten used to all the different guys my mom brings home. God, I don't understand. Why do you guys complain? I mean, you're so lucky to have at least one parent around. Awesome. What? I mean, this is pretty scammy, you know? What is? Well, just sitting around and feeling sorry for ourselves. Well, with parents like ours, what could possibly be so great? Yeah, well, we bitch about them, but hey, we're no better than they are. Really? We can't be that grody. Yeah? Well, the biggest thing in our lives is the way we talk and spending money. I don't know, you guys. There's just got to be more. Like what? I don't know. This is it, kid. Well, it doesn't have to be. Hey, come on, this is a sleepover party, remember? Come on, just like sixth grade. <laughs> oh my god, sixth grade okay. so long ago. <laughs> yeah. Wait, scooch over. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember when you used to always sleep in this waterbed? Remember? <laughs> yeah. so fun. You know, I think grade school is the best. <laughs> my best year was when I was 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, listen to us, you guys. We talk like we're old and our lives are completely over. For sure. You know, sometimes it feels like it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, say goodnight, gang. Hey, I can't sleep with the lights on. Oh, God. <laughs> Just like six nine. <laughs> yeah. Get the night light, Annie. Night. Night. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys, look at bitchin' oh. twitching. <laughs> Girl, can I help you? Um, yes. My friend here is... She's getting married, and we're helping her pick out her trousseau. Oh, well, then you'd probably like something uh, feminine, like uh, No, um, <laughs> my fiancé is, you know, kinky. <laughs> <laughs> we were thinking more on the lines of something like... Like that. Oh, that would be perfect. Oh, oh, beat me, beat me. <laughs> well, then, the discriminating male. Oh, uh, well, he's not, he's not that discriminating. <laughs> I'll try this one. Oh. Ah. Girl. <laughs> well. You know, I don't believe really people wear these things. I'm I just sure. Oh, my God. Bitchin' twitchin'. Oh, darling. How do you like this on me? Oh, my God, Emma. <laughs> you, of all people, don't need that. Really? Yeah, you're right. I oh, don't. God. Do I? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. Are we going mountain climbing? <laughs> <laughs> we got you, Hey, hey you guys, I'm You should hear what we have planned at the lake tonight. Keith, I thought just you and I were going to be alone tonight. You know, like at the beach. The beach? Nobody goes to the beach anymore. They're going to be talking about what we do tonight for months. For sure. You won't forget tonight. Come on, can we get going? Yeah, like, can we go? Yeah. You guys, look at Peter. He is huge. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Onward, slaves, and upward, yes! See you later, Eddie. Be proud! Cherish him! Move onward! Master, be proud! Smile! Okay, okay. I know what you want. You probably want my autograph, right? You want his autograph. But I bet you didn't see last year's USC-UCLA game, did you? No way. No. And do you want to know why? Because it was a sellout. And do you want to know why it was a sellout? Everybody buy tickets. No, we don't really know, do we? Oh, no. But maybe, maybe it had something to do with the fact that I was playing in it. You played. That's right, me, you yours truly I. But instead of autographs, this time, I'm going to recreate for you right here, right now, that game-winning play. OK, let's get in formation. Go, go, man. Come on. I walk up to the line. He walked up to the line. The whole Coliseum is roaring. Ah! Ah! I asked for silence. Silence! Silence! Shut up! Silence! I called my signals. He called his signals. Annie 69. Annie 69. Ah! Hot one. Hot two. Hot two. Hot three. Hot three. Hot four. Hot four. Hot four. Hot four. Hot five. Hot four. I drop back. I drop back. I look to the right. I look long. You look long. I look short. You look short. Really short. Uh -oh. <laughs> time out. Time out. Time out. No. No. Run. 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 And block. And block. You bitch. It's block to the 50. The 40. Let me win. Let me win. Let me win. I do 
you, where's that money you owe me, huh? Yeah. Oh, my God. What? Look what? over there. Look, what? Look over there. Where's it at? Give it to me. Been holding out on me anyway. <sighs> Looks like a couple of dope dealers. You must be pretty desperate picking on little kids like that. Now, why don't you take this stuff? And I want you to get on the street, and I want you to sell pronto. You got that? Hey, get going. Go on. Get out of here. You heard the man split, dude. I think he gave the kid. Probably coke. We screw around that Mickey Mouse shit. He sells the little stuff for me. I need that. It's change money. You know, isn't that a shame? By the time that kid's in high school, his nostrils are going to be completely caved in. Ah, uh, let's split, dude. You guys, they're coming over here. No one around. Hey, Geek. Oh, what do we have here? Well, hello, girls. And especially you, my little one. Have a nice day at the mall. I see you guys like garbage, huh? Later. Rats. Snakes. Crispy toads. Baffle lips. We should get involved in this, you know. Could you go to sleep tonight knowing this kid was falling into a life of crime? Yes. Look, Miss Goody Tushus, what can we do anyway? Talk to his mom or something. We'll figure it out later. Yeah, you might as well go ahead and follow him, Trish. I'm curious. You guys, this is like totally freaking me out. Just follow him. Come on. <laughs>
like derelict city. Okay? Hey, Like, no way. Come on, you guys. Let's go in. Yes. Now I know you really do. Look, we all have a moral responsibility here. Uh, yeah, like to keep ourselves alive, okay? Really? You know, there's like no way I'm leaving my car out here alone. You guys, please, let's go inside. I feel so much safer. I'm not staying out here alone. Oh, God. Yeah, but what about our stuff, okay? Let's put it in the trunk. Forget it. The trunk's filled with the rest of our junk. Well, then bring it in. Welcome, welcome. So glad you have come. So nice of you. Come in, come in. Please don't be shy. Come in. We've been waiting for you. I think we have the wrong house. No, this is the house the kid came to. Of course you have the right house. Please, come in. Such fine girls. You know, I never believe it when they say that today's teenagers are selfish and spoiled and think only of themselves. No, sorry. Not when they're girls like you, so ready to give of yourselves. Now get yourself cleaned up. You look a mess. Miguel has an affinity for dirt. Now, I thought we'd start with a little, uh... Oh, you're so dressed up, aren't you? Ah, uh, well. You even bought presents, huh? Uh, I think there's been just a slight misunderstanding. Oh, you don't do windows? <laughs> kidding. Just kidding. Well, I think we should just start with the bathrooms. There are only eight bathrooms, and uh, how convenient. We can divide it to two each. You know, I really do think there's just a slight misunderstanding. Uh, uh, sure thing. We'll get right on it. Good, good. Well, I'll show you where the first bathroom is. <laughs> Beth will follow. She's the expert bathroom cleaner of the group. Been doing it for years. Just loves getting every germ out of that toilet bowl. Good, good. Come on, come on. Come on. <clears throat> Go roadie to the max. I am so sure. Earth for the cause. Go get him, kid. Totally freak me out. God. What, what is this place? I think it's like a home for boys. Hey, there's that kid! Hey, hey! Oh hey, kid, wait! Quick! Wait, come back! Come on, you guys! Oh, hey, what you chicks want? We just want to talk. You junior narcs. Junior narcs? No way. And what you want to talk about? We know what you're doing. Oh, I see. You want to buy. <sighs> no, we just want to help. If you want to help, you can buy, girl. Well, why do you sell dope? Hey, what is this? Look, do you want to wind up in a reform school or a jail or something like that? I already been there. Oh, and you like it so much you want to go back, right? Selling this junk is what's keeping me out. Ain't nobody giving us money. We got to get it ourselves. Best way we know how. You mean the man downstairs doesn't give you any money? You kidding? Old man Stan done spent his last dime. This place is going under. Well, there are other ways of keeping this place going other than dealing. Don't jive me. 
Ain't nobody that cares about us but us. And uh, like I say, ladies, if you really want to help, send us customers. through already? Oh, no, sir. We'll be back soon. Fine, fine. And you know your help is greatly appreciated. Um, you know, I really hate to be nosy, but are you having money problems? Well, we are experiencing some temporary difficulties. How temporary? We need $25,000 to keep the doors open. 25,000 billies? Whew. How soon? Well, actually, we've already received our eviction notice. We have five more days. Oh, my God. Maybe we ought to stay and help finish with the toilets. The good Lord will help us. You mean he's going to get you $25,000? I thought he only did miracles. I've been running this place for over 40 years. And I find that the Lord will help us if we trust in him. Well, maybe we'll figure out a way just to give him a little help this time. Does that mean more toilets? It does. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Don't worry. Bye. <laughs> Stupid pledges. <laughs> yeah, but Trish is gonna make Keith pledges look first, you know? Like, uh, oh, my darling, I'll pledge my love. So I will. <laughs> hey, Trish, did you ever ask your mom and dad about the 25,000 billies? What? You know, for the orphanage, dummy. Did you ever ask your mom? Yeah, because if you asked your mom for the $25,000, then she wouldn't have to ask her mom for the $25,000. Then we can all take the $25,000. Not your face. <laughs> Look, I talked to my dad about it, but he's too busy with his boom boom girls, and my mom's got her own charities. Oh, God. But she says they'll put them somewhere. The state will take care of them. Take care of them? They're going to put them behind bars or something. Samantha, don't get so dramatic. Hey, well, remember what that kid said? Nobody takes care of us but us. They're just gonna keep dealing till they get busted, you guys. <sighs> okay, okay, we'll do something, but not right now. All yeah, right? we gotta go. I mean, hey, like, um, Keith's been brushing his hair for hours. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, will you guys just go on? I think I'll wait for Annie. We'll ride to the lake, it's not that far. Right, Val? Okay. See ya. <laughs> I still don't understand why you dragged me out here. I should be up with the pledges. This will make you forget all about those stupid pledges. Hey, now come on. We. You... We. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, you Trish. Of course I'm Trish. You shouldn't be wearing this stuff. Hey, hey, damn it, Trish. Get dressed. I gotta go.
to really get it this time. I'm going to see the two kids are locked up for life. <laughs> Come on, Annie. Let's go ride some more. Annie? I'm tired of riding. Hey, what is it? I, I miss the snow. It doesn't snow in California. I really want to go home, don't you? This is the only home I've got. Hey, a lot more than what those little boys have. You know, I keep thinking about them. They're not that much different than I am. Tim, if I didn't have you, I'd have nowhere to go either. I guess it didn't work. <laughs> didn't work, huh? Oh, it worked wonders. What'd he say? What'd he do? <laughs> Nothing. It started out great, and then he started respecting me again. <laughs> What's the matter with her? Why is she crying? She's just thinking about the little boys. What little boys? Trish, the orphanage. Oh, them. They'll be OK. Damn that, Keith, you guys, what am I gonna do? Trish, why don't you think about somebody else for a change, okay? Sam's right. You don't even care about all those little boys that have no place to go. Louie? 
Hey, look at this. It's Little Miss Valley Witch. What are you doing here? Haven't you figured that out by now? The question is, uh, is that what hard up bows do? Dress like whores and cruise the beach? Get screwed. Looks like you're the one who's gotten screwed. <laughs> Jealous? I mean by the place who sold you that thing. Why don't you just leave her alone? No, Julie, you're missing it. She wears that for her lesbian friends here. <laughs> well, why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> no, thanks. Not into it. You ride that nag? <laughs> you ride that dog? Dog rides dog. <laughs> you should know, you little tramp. I heard you're always in heat. Mm. Oh, hold it. Sam, why don't we show her the difference between a horse and a dog? <laughs> That's a laugh. What's the matter, scuzz? Not into it? Tell your les friend that she's on. All right. Oh, she's on. But what's a horse race without a bet? Thought you'd never ask, Val. Whatever you said, we'll match. How about 25000 Dollars. Where's the Val gonna come up with 25 grand? Oh, I've got something better than money. Nothing's better than money. Oh, yeah? Well, my Mercedes is. Oh, my God, Trish. Like, wait a minute. What are you doing? Pink slip and all? Pink slip and all. No big deal. <laughs> Mercedes is nothing. I bet my Ferrari. My Dino Ferrari. Okay, you're on. Fine. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. Let's get out of here. Cash will get your heat back any time. In the meantime, try the bus.
Like, I'm so sure Belle's never done that before, you guys. I don't know what, what happened. Don't, don't even worry, worry about it. I hate it. that girl. She, look, I am so sure I had to take the bus here. What did your parents say about the car? I just told them it was in the shop. I mean, do you realize how gnarly, grody, and scuzzy those buses are? I mean, it's like there's gum on the seats. And, like, I swear, I swear I saw a glob of saliva. I mean, it's like a glob of green saliva, like, oh, right God. on the floor. Oh, hey, okay. I so God, I'm sorry I lost the race. Hey, you guys, there's Albert. And when we do business, we do business. You got that? Now, get up here. You do want to be a businessman, don't you? You want to have a nice jeweler like me and everything? Hey, kid's gonna be okay. He wants that pink Cadillac, don't you, boy? Oh, my God. Like, now what are we gonna do? Cry. You better start hustling a little bit more. Now, where's the money? All right. Look, I want to give you three of these things. Not one, but three. And I want you to get out there, and I want you to sell them. Okay. Right away. You heard the man. Split. Boy, dude. Hey, Albert. Like I said, what's the difference? Stay at home or jail? See you chicks later. Wow. Hey, hey. You little squeezes know Albert, huh? Albert who? Hey, don't bullshit us. Hey, look, if you want to buy from him, that's fine. But why waste your time with the middleman when you can go all the way to the top? Oh, my God. And, like, I suppose you're the top. Baby, I'm a guy that lets my action do the talking. Right, Stone? That's right. This is my buddy Stone here. Hey. How do you think each one of these sweet things would look with a, a scar right there? So you gotta be real friendly with Stone. He gets real aggravated real quick, you know? That's right. I've never seen so many billies. Yeah, like, um, how much is that? Baby, it's about seven or eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand? You got it. Would you like to make a loan on a car? Depends on the interest. You know, sweet thing, you play your cards right, they just might be interested in you. Yeah, like Stone said, good friendly cooperation and interest rates just might come to me. Look, my interest is way down already. I'm gonna do you girls a little favor. I'm gonna give you my name and my number. The name is Lance. You girls give me a call when you're done playing with the little boys. Later, let's hit it, Stone. I am so sure. Like a grody, grody, grody. Sure, you guys, like, I think the shirt was kind of cute. Oh, I'm sure. He, he's like a Ricky Ricardo into bondage, OK? What? <laughs> You know, Ricky Ricardo, do 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 Look, then you take his number, okay? Hey, hey, God, I was only kidding. I mean, obviously, the dude has got mega bucks. A lot of good that's going to do us now. I don't know. Okay, well, maybe we should just lose this number. I mean, he wants to call that scaggly geek anyway. Oh, my God. This number might be worth more than we think, you know? Oh, you to have to run. Run. Oh, get your license, girl!
Okay, you guys take the dresser and you get the bathroom. Hey, hey, hey! How come I always get the John? Oh, Beth, come on, go, 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 go. <laughs> this is fun. Wah! Hmm. I hope we find it. What if your dad keeps it in the studio? No, it's like way too dangerous. <laughs> More dangerous than your mother? Look, you guys, we've got to keep this place exactly the way we found it, okay? Wait, wait. Oh, God, it's got to. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at these. Oh. For Keith. Respect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you guys, my father is so brilliant. Look, he packages his Coke and his <gasps> rubber cover. Oh, my God. You're kidding me. Oh, God. Ah, subtly she respects oh. her father. Look at this. How much do you think this stuff is worth? Oh, a thousand bucks, maybe. You think so? Sure. Whoa! <laughs> Ribbed. <laughs> you guys, do you really think he's going to buy it? Come on. With special receptacle end. He's got to, you know? Whoa. Hey, you guys, wh what's a receptacle end? Wait, and then we give all the money to Mr. Stanton and the kids stop dealing. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. it was so great. Right. They stop dealing and we start, right? <gasps> you guys, what's a receptacle end? But, you know, like, we need more. We're like... $25,000 worth. No, more like $50,000 worth. Hey. I've got to get my Mercedes back, remember? Oh, God, OK. Like, I am so sure, Tris, like, where are we going to get $50,000 worth of Coke? From the bathroom. Have you gone crispy? No, look, look, come on, you guys. OK, first we let him sample the good stuff, and the next time we see him, we get a bunch of vials, and we put bath powder on the bottom, and then the real Coke on top. So when he tastes it, he just tastes the real stuff. Yes! It's yeah! <laughs> so brilliant. I want to know what a receptacle <laughs> end is. It's a football position. OK. OK, Beth. Number, please. Who? The number of the draggy. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Wait, wait, it's ringing. Hello, Lance? Like, this is the valve from the Galleria. Yeah, the special cutie. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. I don't buy. I sell. Trish, no one's gonna see you. Trish, like, give me a break. Would you please get up? I can't believe you. You never know. Oh, Trish, spare me. Get up. Go ahead. Come on, you guys. Come on. Let's go, okay? Come on. Go. Oh, yes. I don't like it, but she's scared. So you guys do, and this is the piece of shit you guys drive in, huh? <laughs> good cover, huh? Yeah, real good cover. Okay, cutie, why don't you show me what you got? A tester. Okay. Not bad. Straight from the islands, huh? Yep. Okay, maybe we can move it and maybe we can't. So why don't you tell me where the rest of it is? For sure, like, we'll get it to you. Uh, we just want to make sure the money's right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> just cool your debts, girls. Now look it. It's going to be 500 grams of blow for $35,000. You said 50,000 billies. Then get us 700 grams. And if you can't dig the deal, we can split. You're on. 
Okay, I'll trust you girls. I'm gonna be real thorough. I don't want any tricks. And I want you guys putting the good coke on top, the bad coke on bottom. Now, you girls wouldn't do that to me now, would you? Because I don't like any tricks. Is that a little tombstone over there? Well, that's Harry. See, Harry had to try to pass off some bad coke on us. <laughs> Get my meaning? Now, do we have a little understanding, girls? See, we ain't fooling around. Now, that's going to be $50,000, right? Hell, that's pigeon shit. No big deal. You just be back here tomorrow night, and you make sure you look good. Because afterwards, it's you and me, right? Good choice. Nice hat, baby. The split, dude. I think we're finally in over our necks, ladies. Yeah. Well, we can't get out of it now. We've got to think of something. Yeah, like I need my car back. Your car? Like those kids need a home, Trish. Keith! <sighs> Trish, I mean, like, do you have to get horny at a time like this? No. Keith is pretty brainy. He could figure something out. Keith? Got any better ideas? Are you girls crazed? I mean, have your brains gone crispy? You can't get involved in something like this. You're going to wind up in jail or dead or both. Like, that's what I said. But not if we do it right. Yeah. Oh, what are we going to do, like, uh, not show up? Oh, come on, you guys. Do you want to help these poor orphans or not? And get back at those beastie geeks who've been selling them that stuff. Come on, Keith. We can think of something. Well... Damn it, I want my Mercedes back. OK, OK. But I, I can't make the stuff. Let's ask Mike. Maybe he could think of something. Yeah, yeah. let's get Mike. Mike. Big Mike. Mike! 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 Oh, my God, we're going to die. What is it? What is it? Oh, hi, Annie. Hey, Beth. <laughs> hi, David. <laughs> Let's kill you, huh? <laughs> Later. We have a problem here. Yeah? Which one of these beach balls you want deflated? <laughs> you guys, we're trying to put the sting on this drug dealer. <laughs> Come on, you guys. We're serious. serious. If we don't help these poor orphans, they're going to be out of house. Look. We're supposed to sell them $50,000 worth of coke, but we only have $1,000 worth. So somehow we've got to try and fake it. Somehow. No problem. Huh? Right, no problem. Mike here can make stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you think chemistry majors do? You make it? Sure. You just do a manic condensation of succinaldehyde, menthol amine, acetron bisalate. You saturate it, you heat it up, you purify it, you benzolite it. At that time, you go and you get the reactors from mercury and zinc polygrams performed together. Then you treat it with crystallized hydrochloric acid, at which that time all the reactors react, thus producing, voila, crystallized cocaine. Now, this won't give you a real high, but at least it smells and tastes like cocaine. Boy, I too am impressed, frat brother. <laughs> huh, That's great. great. I can do with that. Let's put it in order. <laughs> Well, how soon do you need it? Tomorrow night, five. That's a pretty rough order. I'll be glad to help. That's the best offer I had all night. <laughs> Cause the night is still young. Hey, hey, but what if those Myers find out that it's fake? Oh, for sure, they'll be so pissed. They'll never mm. figure it out. We can, we can, we can exchange it for beer. <laughs> I've got a perfect idea. We'll set them up with a coke and then we'll call the cops. Yeah, yeah. Y you're set crazy. It. They'll pick you up along with it. Oh, we'll set them up. That's great. Why not? You guys, this is getting too scary. There's no oh, way I'm getting involved yeah. with any cops. But not the are. real cops, Dodo. Yeah. You guys want to play cops and robbers? Oh. Like hell? Yeah. yeah. And then we can get a keg or going. <laughs> Halloran. Uh oh, Halloran, dear. Halloran. Uh, I am not going to appear in this in this ridiculous get up. I have an image. I have fans. I have a reputation. But, Kathy, this is prime time. 
and, and, and these ridiculous lines. Uh, uh, now that I am rich and famous through the help of these marvelous Boom Boom girls, I can finally move out of this chicken coop. What's wrong with that? What's right with it? Well, your soap opera lines aren't exactly Shakespeare. I have a reputation. And uh, I am not going to appear in any more scenes with that uh... She's my head boom boom girl. I don't care what she's the head of. I am not competing with those gigantic boo balloons. Who's going to notice me, for God's sake? Oh. All right, all right. That's a wrap for the day. Oh, you mean that's you all of my acting Good shot, huh? Yeah, I want it right about like this. One shot. Oh, oh, go ahead and relax. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> to help us move out. Th that's just the point. You don't have to move out. We got the money. Yay! Yay! You actually have yeah. the money? Well, like, not in the palm of our hands, but uh, we're going to get it tonight. <laughs> From a charity? You could say they're being very charitable. I told you the good Lord would come through. You girls are his messengers. <laughs> just as long as we don't have to do any toilets, OK? <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Mr. Stanton. We'll be seeing you in the morning, OK? Would you care for some tea? No, thank you, sir. We have a lot of hard work ahead of us. Nothing to be afraid of. It's only us. We're glad you made it, especially in this heap. Hey, you look real nice tonight. Did you make yourself special just for me? You got the money. Hey, hey. It's OK. My little dog here, she just got money on her mind. But you should have me on your mind. You and me can make beautiful music together. OK, we'll do. I thought you girls said there was $50,000 here. What? It's OK. I like this little one right here. We'll help him out just this one time. Just this one time? Yeah, just this one time. Here's the money, honey. You can take it. Well, aren't you going to count it, doll? I, I trust you. You know, you're a real smart chick. Holy oh, shit. Oh. Stop! Oh, freeze! All right, you guys. Mm -hmm. See, you dirty wrath, you killed my brother. Mm -hmm. You... Well, take that case, punk! Yeah. <laughs> Take that case, punk. What is this shit? You shut up and keep your mouth shut, punk. Yeah, keep keep your mouth shut. Please, officer, we didn't do anything. Don't hurt. Oh, please, 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 please,
Okay, guys, frisk the girls. <laughs> Come on, man. You said I could frisk the girls. You said I could do it earlier. You promised. Stop it, Officer Rolo. Right. What is this? I got a circus going here. I got an overgrown ape. I got a little butterball here. I got the Beach Boys on this side. What are you guys going to do? Did you sing me a little song or something? Let's bury oh, him. He's dead meat. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like you have some action here, officers. <coughs> What's your precinct? You're not from this area. Oh, uh, we're from uh, uh, the, the other side, side of town. town. What have we here? <coughs> Lance and Stone. Or is it Mutton Jeff? How you doing, Officer Ellie? <laughs> With a little bath powder. Not so clean this time, boys. How unusual. <laughs> nice uniforms you got. Where did you rent those? Uh, uh, from the other, other side, side of town. town. Uh, Lance, Stone, looks like you're finally under arrest for possession. How sweet it is. And uh, you children are also under arrest for impersonating police officers. In fact, you're all under arrest. Oh, my God! So, like, where's the money? I hid it. You what? Oh, I can't believe it. Beth, your car's, like, so disgustingly <sighs> grody and naughty. Like, I almost, like, snagged my nylons, like, on your seat. I Come on, snagged... Trish. Where did you hide the money, okay? For well, sure. well, well. Looks like we've got us some real genuine valley girls here. What are you in for, tootsies? Shoplifting? Or perhaps talking on the phone too long. <laughs> she is like so creepy. Hey, Light hey, 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 hey. Is. Maybe you forgot to empty out your kitty's litter box. Got any money, honey? <laughs> Back your face. Uh, 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 hi, Miss Pudgy. Perhaps you have some money tucked down here in your panties. Like, how gross. Look, 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 sweetie. At least maybe you have something else down there that's really nice. Leave her alone. You just shut up, bitch. Oh, grody to the max. Hey, come on, girls. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Get your hands off me. Get back in there. You lucky shit. Just when I thought I was going to get married. <laughs> Relax. Just relax. It's all been taken care of. Mom, I'm just sorry we caused so much trouble. I just found out why you did it. I wish I'd listened to you in the first place. If us parents had just paid attention to what you girls were trying to say, maybe none of this would have happened. Really? For sure, for sure. Oh, Mom.
You girls aren't rich. You're dead. Oh, my God! That's right, baby. You say your prayers. Like, I thought you were supposed to be in jail. You girls are so stupid sometimes, man. The cocaine was fake, remember? Now, which one of these girls gonna go first, huh? Little con bitch goes first. I want to cut those titties right off. You're gonna have to take me on first. Oh, what do we have here? The little super boy show up? Did you bring your little guitar, too? Ah. Ah, I want him. Because you're going to sing before you die. Mm. Get him, Stone. Get him, Stone. Get him. Oh. 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 Carters came and bailed me out. But not before Lance and Stone could get free. I had a feeling they were gonna come here. Thanks, Ken. Okay, you guys, let's cut with the goo goo eyes, okay? We gotta do some work now. What? Hey, it's revenge time. Don't worry, Tara's no problem. God, I hope so.
It's too good. 